minor league baseball now on the show as our road trip makes a stop in the double-a Texas League tonight a battle of two first place squads between the Midland Rockhounds and the Corpus Christi Hooks now at the plate Vimael Machin and we are set for baseball here this evening Neither guy willing to give in, and the at battle will continue. Grounded back up the middle. Base hit, and that's their first of the new campaign. Got it, cut it. The right field. To the plate now, yeah. Dylan Thomas. Probably. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called. And that's going to be out number one. That is third. So coming that's to the three. plate, George Merritt. Oh. He'll get to take his first yeah, cuts right. here. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. To two balls and two strikes now. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses the for the second out. Mushing is off oh, of first with two away. And he misses two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. All even now, two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Popped him up. Matt Ajembek is there for it. And the inning is over. Brian De La Cruz. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hey. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Nope. One. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up, up of the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. Check swing. No swing, says the home putt umpire. Ball two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Ready with another 2 2. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And that's the first out. Stepping up now, Anibal Sierra. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Now a bunt attempt here, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Digging in, Chucky Robinson looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. That's a hit, their first of the new season. The first baseman. In now, J.J. Matajevic. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Throw in time, and the side is retired.
New inning set to get underway, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Lazaro Armenteros. The 3 1. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Next will be the designated hitter, Logan Davidson. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Now a throw over and the runner back. The 2 2 is swung on and missed. He got him. Coming to the plate now, Buddy Reed. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Two balls and a strike. No score here as we play inning number two. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is high. The throw. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Hit in the air to center field. Myers is there now and he has it. Two gone. Now batting, J.J. Schwartz, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two-thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Colton Shaver. Popped him up. Peralta has room in foul territory, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, Corey Jolts. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Bases are empty, one man out. A bouncer up the middle. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Dustin Garno. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Here now the 2-2. Hit out towards second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. At the plate now, Osvaldo Duarte. Off-speed pitch, good for strike two. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Digging in the switch hitter, Marcos Brito, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Now Vimael Mashi. He reached on a single Vimael. in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Third inning, no score to this point. 
And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. Dylan Thomas will be next. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Digging in for his second at bat, Dylan Thomas. He got called out on strikes his last time through. The 1 1 home. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. One there on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Digging in, Jake Myers. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now the two two. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. The number nine hitter reaches base safely to start the inning, so here comes the top of the order with a man aboard. The right fielder, number 15, Royer. Into the box now, Brian De La Cruz. A ball and two strikes now. Lifted into center field. Reed will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So striding in, Anibal Sierra. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Pops this one up. Merritt is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. So stepping in, Chucky Robinson. One for one after a single this first time up. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Hit down the line at first. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Three balls. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Swing and a line drive. But a foul ball. The next 3 2. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. set for the start of the fourth and set to go as the third baseman George Merritt this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in but that hasn't been the case still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning Dan does this continue or does somebody score here I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch-out. George Merritt goes quietly, leading off the fourth. And it's one and two. One and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Back-to-back -back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. The 2-2 one more time. 
is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Now in the box, Lazaro Armenteros. He drew a walk his first time up. The 3-2 pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So he wins the full count battle and finds a way to extend the inning. Now batting. The dedicated hitter. Logan. Standing in now, Logan Davidson. Pitches a cold strike. The throw is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Here comes the right fielder, but he won't get there. It falls in. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Now that the center fielder. Now a throw over to first. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. At the plate, Buddy Reed grounded to short. Right to him. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Digging in, J.J. Matajevic. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Oh, that's it. Three balls. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Swing and a ground ball to third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. To the plate now, Colton Shaver. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And next it'll be the outfielder, Corey Jolts. Good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Hit on the ground to short. Reined in. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next to hit is the catcher, J.J. Schwartz. And there's a base hit on the line. Now that the second baseman, Marco Brito. In now, Marcos Brito. This is line to left. And this will be hauled in shy of the track for out number one as the runner will retreat to first. Digging in once again, Vimael Machin. It was a walk in his last trip. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Drilled to the right side. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. And that runner will go no further than second, as there are two aboard now. now. The right fielder, Dylan. Into the box, Thomas. Dylan Thomas. Fastball just missed above the zone. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. And he comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. 2-2, here it is. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Ready for another now shot now, George Merritt. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. The set and the 1-1. One, one. 
couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up drifting into shallow right field. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. And here now is Dustin Garneau, a base hit in his first trip. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Here now the two two. Chopped at the plate. That's a foul ball. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. Into the box now, Osvaldo Duarte. One and two now. One ball, two strikes. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly on to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Now batter, better fielder. Standing in, Jake Myers. He singled his last time up. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Line towards center field. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. The right fielder, number 15. Boy, Throw over to first, and the runner back through. safely. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1 1 tie. Stepping in now, Brian De La Cruz. Pitch out, nothing doing. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit in the air out to right. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. At the plate, Anibal Sierra. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2 and 1 now. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Myers rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. The ball. The Chucky. Robinson. At the plate now, Chucky Robinson. And there's ball two now. In there, and it's even now, two and two. Two out here, and a runner at second. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Blake Taylor takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 62. What? Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Eric Peralta. Count still full, three and two. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first half. Ready once again, Lazaro Armenteros. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Breaking ball swung on and grounded to second. He's got it, and that's the second out. 
Striding now forward back. now is the, the DH. DH. Logan Davidson. Logan. He's one for two, two in the ball game. One one. Popped him up. Matajevic over to his left, and that ends the inning. John Gorman enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for Midland, number 49. John. Bottom of the sixth Gorman. inning now, and here comes the first baseman, J.J. Matajevic. Here's the one and one pitch. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Now here's the pitch. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And the throw is there to record the first out. Riding into the box, Colton Shaver. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Hit on the ground out to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now back, the designated hitter. Just there. Standing in now, Dustin Garno. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll, and set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Buddy Reed. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now back. So striding okay. forward now, J.J. Schwartz. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. One and one, here it is. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two. Here's the pitch. Liner towards second. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now that is the second base. So now to the plate, Marcos Brito. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. And a cold strike on the outside corner there. It's full now, three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Stepping in, Vimael Machin, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Now a curveball stays inside, two balls and two strikes. the ground is short could this be two there's one on the first it's a double play as their woes continue the inning is over striding in Osvaldo Duarte will be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh the 2-1 this is on the ground over to first. And there's a base hit. So a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Now and now Jake Myers had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Now another 2-2. 
Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Coming to the plate now, Brian De La Cruz. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. A 3 and 1 pitch. Takes a strike for a full count now, 3 and 2. There's ball four. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Anibal Sierra will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches. Hold on now. That ball is down and could score a run. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. Jesus Zambrano is called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Into the box, Chucky Robinson. Line to the right side. A reach, but it gets by him. And that might play them all. The second run will score. It's now a four to one ball game. Now batter, the first baseman, JJ. To the plate now, JJ Matajevic. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Armenteros has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. Now at the plate, now Colton batter, Shaver. Third baseman, Colton Shaver. Good break to that thing, and it's one and two. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple. Of and we'll have to leave it there, as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Kit Sheets will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Standing in, Dylan Thomas. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Slider well off the plate. An easy take there. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3-2 count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Now battle. At the plate now, George Merritt to the right side and through a base hit. Thomas ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And he's safe at the plate as it's now a two-run game. Now that the first base. Eric. Standing in now, Eric Peralta. 1-1 one, one pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. Here's a look over to first, and he's back easily. Now the 2-1 pitch. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around it? And he will take ball four. Now first and second now year. with nobody out. And that misses two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. That's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw home. Not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. Gabriel Valdez comes on now in an awfully now difficult situation as there are two on here with okay. nobody out. Stepping in now, Logan Davidson. Full count, three balls and two strikes.
And he misses ball four. So now that potential time run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Digging in now, Buddy Reed, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. And that misses ball four, so now the tying run will come across to score. Now that. At the plate, J.J. Schwartz is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Challenge pitch coming, here it is. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. Count remains full. Three runs already home here. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And the go-ahead run stays at third with one big out on the scoreboard now. Marco Hugo. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Vimael Mashi is two for three thus far. One and one. Here it is. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Shaver is there and he puts it away as they're able to escape with only limited damage on the scoreboard. Ready now, Corey Jolks. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the two one. He's in there for strike number two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Dustin Garno. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Ball even at two and two. And he fouls this one off. We're in the eighth inning now of a four to four ball game. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. Mushing is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Into the box now, Osvaldo Duarte. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. From the windup, the 1-1. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Jake Myers. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike. And the inning is over. Into the box, Dylan Thomas. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Hey. A ball and two strikes now. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Ready for another chance. George Merritt. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. The 2 1. Right side, but it's well foul. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. 3 and 2. Eric Peralta is on deck. 
And this will be fouled away. Now the pitch. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Tommy DeJunas takes over on the mound in a tie ball game. There is one gone here in the top of inning number nine. Eric Peralta will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Not trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. in the air out to center field. Myers is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Stepping up to the plate, Lazaro Armenteros. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. The 1-1. One -one. A pitch out. The throw. And boy, even a pitch out can't slow him down. He's in there at second base. Now the 2-1. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. 2-2. Two two. Sure took a healthy hack that time. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. Jordan Weems enters to do the pitching. And best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. So digging in now, Brian De La Cruz. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1-1. One, one. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. Another 1-2 delivery. Hit hard on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly. And there's one gone to start the bottom of the ninth. Stepping into the box, Anibal Sierra. Last time through was a base hit. One out, nobody on. And he'll miss the target there with a the curveball, and it's two and one now. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Rip down the line, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Smoked on the ground up the middle, and that is through into center field for a one-out single. Now batting, Hector. So now to the plate, Chucky Robinson. Oh, it's on the ground a second. Did he get his double play? And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So a big spot here in stepping in, J.J. Matajevic, as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Down the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. And this is down, and that should do it. And they're going to walk off here with a 5 4 win. Well, that at bat shows clearer than anything that some guys, they, they have that clutch gene and some guys just don't. He brings home the winning run from second and is being absolutely mobbed by his teammates. What a finish.
Well, the lineup was clicking for him in this contest, and the man you see there was a major contributor. For that, he's the top player of the game. Well, everyone wants to get their season off on the right foot and feel like all the hard work in the offseason and spring training has paid off. He came out here excited to play a real game again, and he really had a great game. This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4, the final tally. Corpus Christi came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Tommy DeJunas gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. That's our final line score. First for the victorious hook. Five runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For the Rockhounds, four runs on nine hits, one error. They left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 16 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safe.